Sometimes I literally spend like three minutes trying to come up with an intro to videos. It's always awkward when you first start filming like a video, you never know what to say in the beginning. It's just YouTube struggle. So today I'm gonna to be talking all about my experience and a little bit of review on Bellamy hair extensions. I got a request to do it by a few people, but the one most recent, I'll put your name somewhere around here. I really like giving reviews because I'm very honest with how I feel about um, the way companies are run and their customer service, and I had a very, a very interesting experience with Bellamy hair extensions. So I'm really excited to kind of share with you guys how that went. My review from My Pink Vanity um, hair extensions, I'll leave that one down below. Those are by far my favorite hair extensions of all time. I have been wearing them for years and they've never failed me and I love that company. There was one time where I wanted to try a different company, not because I was sick of the hair extensions I had, but just because I kind of wanted to see what else was out there and so I could kind of give a review for you guys so you could see how I feel about other stuff. If you guys watch my vlogs, you, from last year, I, that's when I ordered them and I vlogged about ordering them, but I didn't really go in depth with my process and how everything went. So that's what this video is gonna be all about. So I have the extensions here. I'm not gonna take out every single piece because that would take forever, but um, these are the ones I ordered. Uh, they're, I don't really remember exactly which ones they are. I'll link that down below. But I'm pretty sure I got like the 24 inch or something like that and I got it in like the lightest blonde that they had. They're pretty good quality hair extensions. I don't really have too many negative things to say about them. I like them. Um, I don't love them. The one thing I've noticed about their hair extensions around everyone else's that I've tried is that they're, they feel much heavier in my hair. They give you a lot of volume, which I love. and. Um, they hold a curl, so I mean, there's really not too many bad things I can say about the extensions themselves. The hair extensions that I buy off of My Pink Vanity Lush Locked extensions are better quality, in my opinion. Plus, they also aren't as expensive, and the process of ordering them and dealing with the customer service that you deal with through My Pink Vanity was much smoother and better than I did with Bellamy. The main reason I wanted to make this video is to talk to you guys about the experience that I had dealing with the people at Bellamy Hair Extensions. These are exactly my 100% honest thoughts about this company. I do not want to bash on them or make them look horrible, but this is experience I had and I just wanted to share it with you guys so you guys kind of know why I feel the way I do about Bellamy Hair Extensions. <laughs> I want to get some new hair extensions and everyone was talking about Bellamy Hair Extensions at that time. Um, people still talk about them all the time. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. You know, I've never really ordered from a huge company like them, like someone who works with a ton of YouTubers and just has a lot going on. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna order from them. So I went through all their hair extensions and picked out the color I wanted, picked out the length I wanted, and I ordered them. You know, really simple. It took like two minutes, whatever. About like a day later, I get an email and it was from Bellamy and they said that for security reasons they wanted me to send them a picture of my bank statement saying that I ordered the hair extensions and send them like a screenshot of it. And at the time I was kind of like, this is strange, like this is just odd. And I don't know why I got a bad feeling about it, like I just got a really weird feeling about it. I don't know what it was. So. The extensions that I got, I got as a gift. Um, my mother bought them for me. I got them with her credit card or um, debit card or whatever. So I went over to her house and I told her and she was like, that's so strange. Like, I don't know. That's kind of weird. I've never had that happen to me before. Sure, let's try it. So um, I took a screenshot of her bank statement and I was getting it uploaded into the email and then I was kind of like, I just felt weird about the whole situation. I feel very uncomfortable with this. Like, I don't understand. So I sent her an email and I was like, look, I kind of feel uncomfortable doing this. Like, I'm sorry if I cause any problems, but I think I'm just going to cancel my order because I just, I just feel a little uncomfortable about this. Like, I just, I don't know. This has never happened to me before. I just feel a little uncomfortable. Um, and it's totally fine that they're doing, you know, 
fraud protection and things like that, um, I totally 100% understand why they do it because people could easily steal a credit card and order stuff and I completely understand why they do it. I do. It's, it's kind of the same thing as like when you go to a store and they you use your credit card and they ask for an ID too. Like it's, it's the same thing but for some reason it just rubbed me the wrong way. Like I don't know why it did. Um, I don't know but that's what happened. So she was like, you know, that's fine, like, we'll cancel your order, like, it's no big deal, like, we apologize for any inconvenience, like, whatever, very professional about it, whatever. About a month passed, and then I was like, you know what, <sighs> like, I should have just done it, you know, I should have just ordered them, like, it's not even that big of a deal. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'll order them again. And if that happens again, then I'll, I'll order it with my own card and my own money and everything like that, so I can just handle it if it needs to be handled. So I did the whole order process again. And I didn't get an email at all, like not a confirmation email, not a um, like we got your order type email, not we are um, shipping your order type email. I didn't get anything like that. So I didn't get an email like that at all. So I thought that was kind of weird. So like a week passed, so I decided to email their company and I was like, look, I ordered a pair of hair extensions. I didn't get an email like confirming my order or anything like that. Like, could you let me know when they're going to ship? So a few days passed. And I get an email and they're just like, oh yeah, we see your order, um, we're sorry we didn't send you a confirmation email, we'll send it to you right now, and um, we'll let you know when your order ships. So I'm like, okay, that's great, cool, like sounds good. So about a week passes, <laughs> and I keep going on my confirmation email to use a tracking number to see if it shipped yet, and it hasn't. So I'm like, this is so weird, like what's going on? So I email them again, and this was like three weeks after I ordered them, and I was like, Hi, like I ordered extensions from you guys. I just want to know when you guys are going to ship them. Like, here's my tracking number. Here's my confirmation number. Like, da da da. So they were like, oh, great. Like, um, and this was a few days later. Like, I sent it, and then a few days later, they sent me another email being like, oh, yeah, they're going to ship in a few days. Like, everything's fine, whatever. Um, they'll be in your house, like, in a few days. So I'm like, okay, cool. So then another week passes, still no hair extensions, and they already had charged my account. They charged my account when I got the confirmation email. That's when they charged me. So, I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> like, what's going on? And every time I went on the confirmation email to do my tracking number, it would say that it was still in processing. So this has been like a month now of this process. So then I sent them another email and I'm like, hi, like, what's going on? Where are my hair extensions? Like, why haven't they shipped yet? Like, you guys told me it's a, like, um, I think that it was like 10 to 14 business days. Like, that's past. Like, what's going on? Like, where's my hair extensions? Like, da da da. So they were like, oh, we're so sorry, like, um, it should have shipped out last week, but it didn't for some reason, like, we apologize, we're so sorry, like, da 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 I'm like, okay, that's fine, like, I just want to make sure that they're going to get sent to me. Two weeks later, I finally get the hair extensions. So I come home, I open the package, and there's two sets of hair extensions in there. So my first thought is, did they charge me for two hair extensions? So I went on my account and they only charged me for one. So I asked my mom, I'm like, mom, look on your account to see if they charged you as well from the previous order that we made and then they sent us two for some reason. And they didn't. She looked on all her statements, there was no charge from Bellamy hair extensions. I don't know what happened. So I sent him an email, I'm like, look, ordered one, hair, one pair of hair extensions, I waited six weeks and I got two. So do you want me to send the other one back to you? Like, what, what's going on? So the woman like looks at my account and she was like, oh, well you ordered two. And I'm like, no, I didn't. And you only charged me for one. So would you like me to send this back? And then she sends me this huge email about their return policy and all this stuff and how it has to be within 30 days or something like that. So I was just like, I am so lost with this. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what do you mean? So I ended up just keeping both of them because... I was so confused on what to do. Like she sent me their return policy, but she also said that I needed this certain um, uh, like thing to put on the package to send it back, and she didn't send me that thing, and I couldn't figure out how to get it. And like I'm not that technologically savvy, but I mean, I was just so confused. And <sighs> out of everything, like I would have just rather ordered from some other company than dealt with that for so long. It was insane. I was just, the whole time it was just frustrating for me because 
they had already charged my account, you know, like if they hadn't have charged my account yet, I'd be like, oh, whatever, like it takes time. Or if they were like, oh yeah, like there's a back order, it's gonna take six weeks, then that would have totally been okay. But it seemed like every single time I spoke with them, it was, oh, it, it'll be there in a few days, it'll be there in a few days, it'll be there in a few days. But then it would be like weeks after they said that. I don't know what happened with that. Like, I don't know if it was just like a busy time of year for them or if they just got confused with my order or what happened. It was just the weirdest experience I've ever had. And when I was coming to them, like, I need to return these this one pair because I, I didn't order it. Like, they were just kind of like, this is our return policy. But they but they didn't say anything about like, oh, um, we didn't mean to send two. We sent two because of this and da 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 da. And like, thank you so much for um, letting us know and we'll make sure that this doesn't happen again, da 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 da. And like, it was just so crazy. And I've been waiting to get like an email from them like ever since then to be like, please send us back that pair of hair extensions. And then like a part of me was like, maybe they sent me another pair because of like all the crazy mix up there was. But then I feel like they would have like left a note in there or like told me in an email or something because it's not usual that they just give away a, huge, a whole pair of hair extensions because they messed up a little bit. Like that doesn't happen. So it was just a really confusing process and I'm sure like coming off it's very confusing but it was just very strange especially compared to the other experiences I've had ordering hair extensions from other companies and it was just, I don't even know, like <laughs> it was just so strange. It's like I just want hair extensions. When I ordered them they would have said six week delivery time, I would have, that would have been totally okay, but for them to say like 10 to 14 days or 10 to 16 days, whatever it was, and then for it to take six weeks, like that was what frustrated me. Like it was just kind of like, just be open and honest. I watched a lot of Bellamy hair extension reviews and there was one other one that was similar to mine. Um, so I don't know if this is a regular thing that happened or if it was just back then that it happened a lot and now it's gotten much better. I don't know because I haven't ordered from them again. I kind of don't want to. <laughs> I just, I've, I've learned that if you, when something's, or what's that saying? If it's not broke, don't fix it. So I love my Pink Vanity Lush Locks extensions. I think I'm just going to stick with them forever because it seems like every time I try to go outside the box, something happens like this and it's just crazy. I'm sure that this doesn't happen that often with that company. I'm sure if you wanted to order from them, I don't think that something like this would happen again. Um, it was just a really weird freak incident type thing. I don't know. It was just so strange. I still to this day like don't like can't even comprehend everything that happened. It was just so weird. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I know it was kind of like me just rambling about how ridiculous that was, but um, I hope this was helpful. Again, like I do not want you to think that I hate Bellamy hair extensions, that I think that they're a horrible company. I know that every single company has their hiccups and has their bumps in the road. I completely understand and I know that every single order is not going to be 100% perfect and I know that websites have glitches and I know that everything, there's always can be a problem and I completely, completely understand that. I just think for me they could have handled it a little bit better, I guess, or just been a little bit more honest, or even if they didn't know, they could have told me, like, we have no idea, like, we don't know what happened, you know? That would have made it so much better, and that just goes back to my whole, like, honesty is the best policy type thing, because now, like, I'm not saying they lost a customer, because, I mean, I would order from them again if I needed to, but I just think for now I probably won't, um, that's just how it is, I don't know. So, I hope this was helpful, um, I feel so bad. I always feel bad doing this, but I really just want you guys to know what I went through. And if you guys have ordered from them and it was like an amazing process and everything was fine, like definitely let me know because I really hope that this doesn't happen again or hasn't happened to anybody else. Or if this has happened to you, leave it down below as well. Um, I just like to uh, read your guys' comments, your responses to my videos, things like that. And I apologize if this offended anyone in any way. I'm not trying to say they're a bad company. I'm just letting you guys know what happened to me. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, a weird, it was a weird time. I don't know. As always, if you guys have any more video requests, definitely leave them down below. If you guys want any more reviews, definitely leave them down below. This one was kind of a weird one, so hopefully the next one is more positive. But, yeah. So, as always, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!